The Gunfire Reborn Fall 2022 update is now live as of November 24th. This free update marks the second official update in the current roadmap series for Gunfire Reborn, following the Summer 2022 Visitors of Spirit Realm DLC. It includes two new weapons to round out the arsenal, as well as a completely new game mode called Spiritual Assault, which comes with its own map and final boss. While this update might not be super packed with content, it's nice that it is free and that the devs are sticking to their schedule. Furthermore, having tried out the new mode in its entirety, it definitely feels like it's going to be a great addition to the game overall. Unfortunately, at the time of creating this, it appears that this update, as well as the previous one, are only on PC and I have not heard when and if they are making their way to the Xbox. I am hoping that it does, and for all of you on an Xbox, I will be sure to update you guys with any information I might hear in the future. Before we dive into the new game mode, which makes up the majority of the update, let's take a quick look at the two weapons that were added. First up, we have the Wheel Saw, which is a shotgun class weapon that performs a bonus melee AoE sawing attack during its reload. This alternate attack can be improved if all of the shotgun blast makes contact with an enemy while firing it. It seems like a pretty nice weapon, and it is a great alternative for the melee-focused characters that are interested in using both a gun and a melee attack. In my very limited experience with it though, it seemed a tad underpowered, and I would have liked the saw attack to do a bit more damage, especially the improved version. The overall aesthetic is great though. In order to unlock it for use, you must have defeated 15 Lightning Swordsmen total. Now, the second weapon is the Radioactive Gauntlet Injector, which is the corrosive version and sister weapon of the Laser and Thunderclap Gloves. If you right-click at the correct moment while firing this weapon, it activates the Enhanced Laser, which causes a refraction to bounce and deal damage to three other nearby enemies. Oh my! This beast is absolutely amazing and is by far my new favorite weapon. I'm actually already a little bit worried that it's going to get a huge nerf in a coming update. It might have been the sole reason I was able to beat the new game mode so quickly, and with Bunny, who I rarely even use. In order to unlock this weapon for your profile, you must have defeated 20 Venomous Lizards. The footage you have been seeing so far in this video is from a new game mode that is called Spiritual Assault. This feature is somewhat like what would be considered a survival mode in other games where you must survive waves of enemies in a single level environment. As you progress through a game of Spiritual Assault, you will gain experience and money. Every time you level up, this will give you three options for something new, be it a weapon, scroll, or character ability. Along the way, there will be elite enemies that spawn as mini-bosses at set intervals, as well as craftsmen, peddlers, and chests. If you survive through all of the waves of enemies, you will then teleport to a final arena where you will battle a new boss in an epic finale. Since Spiritual Assault is quite different than the traditional GFR experience, and there are many more enemies at once than there would normally be, it was necessary for the devs to do some balance changes that only affects this mode. Certain scrolls and character abilities were tweaked a bit, while other scrolls that didn't make sense in this context were removed entirely. For a complete list on what has changed for Spiritual Assault, check the video description for a link to the patch notes. Spiritual Assault also does away with the general talent tree perks, though the character ones remain, and instead introduces a new system called the Spirit Concentrator. Basically, it's an intricate loadout where you can completely customize your character style and add different gameplay perks called Spirit Jade, many of which you will need to unlock. Depending on how powerful these Spiritual Jade perks are, they will take up different amounts of space on your Spirit Concentrator. This is a pretty intricate system, allowing for a lot of possibilities and a great way to add balance to the character customization. I am loving this game mode for the simple fact that it is so different from everything else and requires building your character in new ways. It adds layers of customization and it rewards trying out builds that may not have worked in the past in the other modes. Spiritual Assault feels more like a fast-paced arena shooter where you must always be on your toes and avoid getting surrounded. 
The devs have already done a small hotfix with some balance changes and have said they will be releasing more maps for Spiritual Assault in the near future. Now, I don't want to go too deep into strategies and tips for Spiritual Assault, since I may end up making a more in-depth video on this topic when I have played it a lot more. I will give you a few things to think about if you are struggling with it though. First off, don't go in with the mindset that a lot of the typical strategy and builds that you use in the normal play mode will work here. Try new combinations of abilities and scrolls and characters you may not use often. I also recommend that you try to utilize your radar much more. I honestly never felt much need for it in the traditional game mode, but it's very nice to see where waves of enemies are approaching from and to avoid getting surrounded or cornered. Finally, if you find that you are dying too easily, try out the Spirit Jade called Prepaid Defense, which provides bonus HP and shield. I know for certain I was using this when I beat it the first time. So that just about covers everything for the Gunfire Reborn Fall 2022 update. The patch notes will be in the video description. Like I said earlier, it's not huge on the amount of content this go around, but I am pretty happy with the new Spiritual Assault mode. If you missed the Visitors of Spirit Realm DLC, I have another video on this topic which I will be sure and link to, and I will most likely be covering the Spring 2023 update when it comes around, so be sure and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.